don't really know to be honest it hasn't quite sunk in like for 14 years it's kind of been just a depressing skeleton of a club and for it to be finally be at the end of it now it's just it genuinely hasn't actually sunk in yet uh, it's exciting it's nervous um, it, it's not so much about the Saudis coming in it's more about Ashley leaving for me um, it's taking my nephew to school and not seeing any Newcastle tops in the playground anymore or picking them up from football and seeing kids running around and like kids from London or from Paris it, it's trying to bring it back to just seeing black and white tribes. You look around and this is what it was like when I first started coming. And I, my, my nephew said that he used to get bullied for saying he needs to Newcastle. He lives two and a half miles from the stadium. If we don't sell this time, we'll never go through. You want to see the scarf, don't you? Aye. You want to see them holding the scarf, so looking over the exact, looking so over the east stand. You just want to see the, the club stand with a picture of the corner flag. <laughs> that's the only reason that's, yeah, that's the bit that you, I'm kind of most looking yeah, forward to now. We've been here before, um, it does seem a little bit different, um, but it's nice just to have hope, even if it all falls through, it's, we've had hope and it's something that we haven't had in 14 years, I think what we've had in the last 24 hours is more exciting than anything I've had in the last decade. Oh, sack Bruce. Um, sack, sack Bruce. Communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's any one thing that we need, just transparency and communication, whether it's on a new manager, a director of football, cleaning that. Um, ju just transparency. Um, I, I don't really care what it is as long as we know what's going to be going on. Sack Bruce, because if he's the longer he's here, the less chance we have of staying up. If he, it's pointless having the new owner if you're not going to bring in a new manager with him, because he's just not good enough at all. I think every Jody here is ecstatic over the moon. Well, almost, oh, almost, almost over the moon. Right. Almost. We've got that little, little tiny feeling that it might not go through, but I think everyone's almost over the hedge now and just buzzing for this takeover to happen. Uh, probably just a new new management, just a whole new structure how the club's going to be run. And personally, I would love to see. Um, obviously, we need we need better players to stay up. That's probably the best thing. But I would love to see just improvements in the, uh, our facilities, like um, training facilities and our uh, medical facilities and all all of that. I think I think it's a lot. I think it's that one. That's what we want. That's that's all we've ever cared about. Getting our club back. I think ever since Mike Ashley put the club up officially for sale, we would have took anyone. We would have took anyone that had the money, but just please just get Mike Ashley out of the club. Um, obviously, the money that's being thrown around, that we keep hearing about, is, it's, it's, it's astronomical. It sounds, it sounds amazing. And no one's going to turn that down. Everyone, everyone's buzzing for that being in the, in the tune. But um, I think first objective is uh, get, get the man out of the club and just have new owners, new hope. I'm delighted that the sale finally seems like it's going to go through. We've waited over 18 months. All we've wanted is to see a successful Newcastle United. I've only known Mike Ashley's era, so for 14 years, we go into every new season with no hope, no ambition, just hoping that we're going to stay up. And finally, we'll have the hope that we can go on and challenge for better things and we won't have to worry about relegation every year. I think it seems like right now the limits are endless. I think it'll be a slow process. I think it's definitely something that won't happen overnight. You've got to build, try and steady the ship first, get a squad that's capable of being in and around mid-table without worrying about relegation and kick on from there. But I certainly think within the next maybe five years we can challenge for trophies, which we've lacked for so long. I think the first plan should be um, Definitely to sort out the managerial situation because I don't think Steve Bruce can take us any further now. I think he's struggling and I think if he stays here we will unfortunately make the drop.